Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, and light workers. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another message from my favorite collective of ascended masters. They refer to themselves as Thymus. And this message was channeled by Daniel Scranton for August 23rd, 2023. And the title to this message is To Ascend, You Must Do This. And they began, blessings, we are Thymus. We are the collective of Ascended Masters. We are here and now to speak to you about your progress of letting go, which is also your progress of ascension. It is not about something that you reach for or that you struggle to complete, like an elusive goal. It is something that naturally occurs when you stop clinging to whatever it is you're clinging to in your life right now. That is what we mean by letting go. You want to let go of that which is heavy and weighing you down. For some people it is guilt. For others it is shame. For some it is confusion. And for others it is an attachment to a certain lifestyle that they cannot seem to either get or hold on to. Some need to let go of resentment and anger. Others need to let go of sorrow and despair. For some, fear and anxiety are their ankle weights that weigh them down. We could go on and on with our listing of what you can cling to in the third and fourth dimensions that will prevent you, at least temporarily, from experiencing the lightness of being that you are destined to experience as your fifth dimensional selves, your higher self. You are meant to embrace oneness, unity consciousness, the knowing that everything you see out there is also you. And so, to get there, what do you need to do? You need to let go of the idea of being separate. You need to let go of many egoic goals, such as being better than someone else or everyone else. You see, it is so much a part of your ascension to do the work that you need to do on yourselves, to lighten your load and to feel the way that you want to feel. And it is not about waiting for something outside of you to happen to catapult you into the fifth dimension because you are ready and everyone else is not. This entire world and everyone in it is always going to reflect something to you that you are still working on. So if you have resistance to anything or anyone in your world as it is right now, then you are holding you back from ascending And no spaceship with its tractor beam is going to pull you up and out of the muck and mire that you experience as a dense negativity all around you. If you experience it all around you, then it's also inside of you and it needs to be healed, forgiven, and ultimately let go. You are not there to be right all the time or to get everything right. You are not there to create a perfect life for yourself because you're such a great manifester. What you are there to do and to be involves mastery. It is mastery over the self and some of the things that you do with action can take you to that place of mastery of the self because you must face a fear, an anxiety, a frustration that is within you. And through the actions you take, you are forced to face those things and then release them. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this rule, and they are the ones who are living amongst you and who are in no hurry to get to the fifth dimension because they so enjoy being of service to all of you who absolutely need them to be there to balance the energies and to hold space for humanity. You can join them, and when you do, you will not be in any hurry to cross over to the fifth dimensional frequency range either, because your greatest sense of joy and fulfillment will come from helping others to recognize that all they have to do is let go of the heavy weight they are dragging around so they can join you in the light. That is all for now. We are Thymus. We are the collective of Ascended Masters, and we are always amongst you. I myself kind of fade in and out of the fifth dimension and I love being there, but then something happens, a family member particularly disturbs me and I find myself plopped right back into 3D. But I know it's my job to help them right now. And many of us have very 
different situations, but I think a lot of us can relate to this powerful message. This message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. And his YouTube channel name is simply his own name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to put the words to this message below in the show more section. And they're always available on Daniel's newsletter. If you go to his website, danielscranton.com, you can sign up for his daily newsletter. I am Julie Joy, your service of the light. Always happy to be able to bring these powerful, inspirational messages to all of you.